Okay, so what you should have seen is proof of what I was saying in that when we have 16 bytes worth of local variables, then Visual Studio perfectly fills it in with 16 bytes. There's no extra padding associated with it, only this extra alignment padding that comes after the return address. So that basically is separating local variable padding to keep it 16 byte aligned from return address padding in order to keep it 16 byte aligned. And again, you know, Microsoft could have, you know, over optimized and when you have only a single variable, they could have, you know, collapsed it down. But, you know, it's much better to have sort of simple code doing uh, the same thing in all cases instead of trying to over optimize for you know, one particular case just to save a couple of bytes that really has no implication on you know, code execution time or anything else. And just in case you don't believe me yet, we can have you know, one further empirical test where we can go greater than 16 bytes. So we can now have three local variables and let's see what the stack is going to look like for that. Go ahead, stop and walk through the assembly, draw a stack diagram, and see whether or not they keep the local variable space 16 byte aligned and whether or not there's any padding within there.